Dylan Brooks has turned the chip on his shoulder into millions of dollars. However, along the way, he has done more than a few villainous antics, which only adds to his villain Brooks story. Right down the middle, he's fouled. Number 8. Dylan Brooks' Early Life Brooks is known for causing controversy and beefing with every player he can in the NBA, which makes his place of birth even more surprising. Brooks is in fact a good old Canadian, but you wouldn't know that by the way that he carries himself. Part of the reason is that he grew up with a chip on his shoulder. His mom, Diane, worked as a project director at a major Canadian bank, while his dad was a construction worker. His home life was pretty good growing up alongside his sister, but trouble started started when he went to school because he dealt with learning disabilities which made it tough for him to read and write. Brooks was diagnosed when he was young and struggled at times to comprehend what his teachers were saying. He especially disliked how teachers would send him out of his normal class and sit him down at a computer in a different room by himself. Brooks felt isolated and, to make matters worse, one of his teachers even said that he won't even graduate high school. No wonder that chip on his shoulder is so massive. One of the outlets that Brooks had grown up was basketball, and he has his mom to thank for that. Number 7. How He Started Basketball Brooks' mom noticed early on that he loved one-on-one -on -one attention, especially when it had to do with things that he was interested in, and Brooks was interested in basketball. So his mom made sure to push Dylan towards ball, and would even buy sports magazines to help with Brooks' reading disability. It didn't take long for Brooks to be enamored with basketball. When he was in the 8th grade, his basketball coach noted Brooks' extreme motivation and obsession with winning, along with a little bit of pudginess. We all can't be cut and chiseled. Now, one of the things that Brooks was focused on was changing the image of Canadian basketball players, who were often overlooked as being soft. So it is safe to say that he took that personally, but more on that in a little bit. But even as a 16-year-old, his fearlessness and desire for competition drove him to be noticed by many coaches and also by referees, as he often got into trouble with technical foul. But that drive to compete overpowered any deficiency he had in his game, and for someone who was told he he won't even graduate high school, Brooks earned a scholarship to the University of Oregon. Number 6 journey to the NBA. Brooks spent a total of three years in Oregon. In his very first year, he was named to the Pac-12 All-Freshman Team, which he followed up with back-to-back first-team All-Pac-12 the next two years. Then in 2017, he was also named the Pac-12 Player of the Year. He improved his game each year as well. From his first year to his second, his points per game rose from 11.5 to 16.7, while in his third year, he stayed at the 16 points per game average, but improved his field goal and three-point percentage. The entire time, he showcased his two-way skill by averaging 1.1 steals per game. Now, of course, there were a few incidents that also boosted his name value and earned him his nickname, Villain Brooks, but more on that one in a little bit. First, let's take a look at what he has done in the NBA since being selected 45th overall in the 2017 draft. Number 5. NBA Reputation Selected by the Houston Rockets, he was immediately traded to the Memphis Grizzlies. Since then, he has become a core member of the organization's resurgence, alongside stars like John ja Morant and Jaron Jackson Jr. Brooks has been credited for giving the Grizzlies their edge and competitiveness. However, Brooks' biggest impact in the league has been the way he is perceived by fans and other players. He has essentially beefed with everyone from nice guys like Mike Conley and Donovan Mitchell to legends like Steph Curry and LeBron James. Heck, he even pushed a cameraman down and earned himself a hefty fine. One rivalry that really made Brooks the villain of the league was his battle with the entire Warriors organization. He got into it with Draymond Green, both on and off the court, which resulted in Green saying that the reason Memphis will never win is because they have players like Dylan Brooks on the team. Ouch. If you ever wondered, why the Memphis Grizzlies is not ready to compete for a championship? Look no further than this idiot right here. He even riled up a mild-mannered Clay Thompson and had him flashing four fingers, each representing the number of rings he had compared to Brooks' zero. Things got really ugly when he fouled and injured Gary Payton II, which promoted the Warriors head coach to say that Brooks broke the code, meaning that he injured a player on purpose. So it is safe to say that he is not well-liked in the NBA circles, but perhaps 
perhaps there is a method to the madness. Maybe playing the bad guy role has netted him some healthy checks, which is often the case in pro wrestling and in the fighting world. Number 4. NBA Contract Brooks came into the league on a three-year, $3.8 million deal. He quickly became an integral member of the Memphis team, especially because of his defensive abilities. This earned him a three-year, $35 million deal, which means that he makes about $11.6 million a year. Not too shabby for someone who is supposed to fail high school. Plus, it looks like all that trash talking paid off, as he increased his value from $3.8 million to $35 million and will likely get a few more contracts before it's all all said and done. However, where that trash talking didn't translate is on social media. Number 3. Social Media Presence Brooks is on the short list of players who are hated by almost every NBA fan base. This means that he gets more than his fair share of internet hate constantly. Perhaps that's the reason behind him having zero posts on his Instagram account, which has over 170,000 followers. Maybe if he did post something, it would be regarding his girlfriend, Danielle M. Frappier, who is a model and goes by the name Big Bambina. So it seems like even his girlfriend has a nickname, which brings us to how Brooks earned his own Villain Brooks moniker. Number 2. Villain Brooks Nickname Now if you've been following Brooks' career for a while, then you aren't really all that surprised by his current day antics and behavior. Brooks has been like this since college. But first, let's start with the disrespect that Brooks showed to the legendary basketball coach, Coach K. During the Sweet 16 tournament, Brooks' ducks were up 79-68 to against Duke. Duke, with only 11 seconds left in the game. Now, there is an unwritten rule in basketball where if you've already got the game in the bag, then it's cordial to just run out the clock. But of course, Brooks wouldn't be Brooks if he did that. So instead, he launched and hit a deep three, followed by a celebration that earned him a lecture from Coach K after the game. And then there were also a couple of different occasions where Brooks showcased his flagrant behavior. One of these included elbowing a player in the midsection while that player was in the air, while the other included kicking a player in the groin and then acting like he did nothing. Now, if you want to be a dirty player and be ultra competitive, well, then so be it. But don't turn around and play the victim card as well, which is exactly what Brooks did during one of the worst flops in basketball history. Instead of an Oscar, his flop against Utah deserved a Razzie. So it is fair to say that Brooks entered the league with a sour reputation, which only got worse over the years. But we can't hate the antics too much, as they clearly added some zeros to his bank account. Number one, his net worth. One area where Dylan Brooks is lacking is in endorsements. It seems like brands are not clamoring to work with the biggest heel in the NBA. So we only have his contracts to go by. His $35 million deal is almost up, which can be a good thing as he can negotiate an even bigger contract. And if not, at least find himself signing a respectable one. But for now, we would estimate his net worth to be about $15 to $20 million after all the taxes and expenses. Now, if you enjoyed this video, then please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit the little bell beside it so that you're notified the next time we upload a new video. And with that being said, you just watched us break down Dylan Brooks's villain story and lifestyle. We'll see you next time.